Southend has scored! Southend United are promoted! Freddie Eastwood has given Southend the lead! What a goal! And Southend are safe again. My name is Brian Deere. Um, I'm 80 years old. Well, we, I could go back a long, long while. I mean, I could go back to the days when I was at West Ham. You know, we were living on the, an estate then. We used to do some Fridays if we had a home game Saturday. South End used to play quite a few home games on the Friday. We used to come in South End and get well looked after by the directors and guys at the club. And we used to enjoy coming to watch South End. So I had a pub in South End when Bobby Moore was the manager here. And I stayed on in the town. I used to come to watch the games and I got friendly with Vic and he said, well, why don't you come and do some, some stuff for me? So that's how it all started. We had some really good times here. We were quite successful. We got into the championship. I don't think we were really big enough at the new <laughs> what to expect when we had people on the bench and Leeds United come here and had internationals on their bench. And, you know, we were playing really big clubs. But we, 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 you know, we, we done well. We held our, our own against them. And there were times when, you know, we, we had, you know, black periods uh, at the club. We were relegated. The crowd, of course, weren't happy, you know, and it's the chairman out and the normal from the, the crowd. But the crowd is an amazing, it's an amazing crowd. And when you're not playing, when you're not playing well, and you can only afford certain type of players, it's very difficult to get back in to this division and the next division. Do you take the Wrexham business? The, the two American multimillionaires come in, they can afford to, to spend money on better players than you've got, and they get the result. You know, they go up, they could, Wrexham could even go up again this year. Just spending your money wisely and getting the right players to get you where you want to be. Just really trying to, to get this club feeling good about itself and for the supporters and the staff to go forward once again. Michelle Gargate, I have just turned 40. I am the landlady of the Blue Ball pub in Southend, which is where Southend United were formed in 1906. Landlord at the time, in 1906, was a gentleman called Oliver Trigg. He and a group of friends decided they wanted to start a football club and that's where South End United began. And then obviously we've got lots of decades of pictures after that. Starting probably a couple of hours before the match, um, you'll have a few people that like to get here early doors, get themselves a seat. Everyone saying hello to their mates that they probably haven't seen for a week or so. Um, just a really fun atmosphere. It's a really family-based club. I've met so many friends that I, you know, my best friends now are people that I've met through South End United. It's a place where you can take your kids, your grandkids, and I think that's what makes it such a draw because it is all-inclusive. Good way to spend your time, I think. It's healthy getting out in the fresh air. It's sociable. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I think when we took over the pub, we were League One, not doing too badly, sort of mid-table. And then when COVID hit, or just before COVID hits, things started to get quite um, yeah, quite tough. We had double relegations. We then ended up in the National League to everyone's complete despair. Then we didn't think things would get much worse. And then we've got unpaid tax bills, we've got embargoes. It was just one thing after another to the point that nobody really knew what to do or where to go with it. Turmoil, <laughs> I think is a really good word to describe it. There's a lot of anger. A lot of people couldn't actually get that anger out either. That was the, that was the most frustrating thing, is didn't seem to be anything we could do. It was a hard time. It was so hard trying to find something that everyone would agree with. Everyone wanted to protest, but it was like, how do you protest? Probably the last couple of years, the, the embargo has been tough. How on earth Kevin Mayer has carried on as he is and how the team have pulled out the results they have, I don't know. I mean, we've had instances where we've had goalkeepers coming out of midfield because we've had no other choice. Terrible to watch at times, but on the other hand, it makes you so proud of the team that we've got and the management that we've got because without them, we wouldn't have a club left. So far in my time of landlady, I've only seen relegations. I haven't seen a single promotion. So um, yeah, so that would be nice to, to have a promotion or two. And with Roots Hall, I'd just like to see it brought back to life a bit. It's looking very shabby. It is our stadium. It's something a bit fresher just to entice people in would be nice.
I think the best part for me is just going and seeing my mates on a match day. I take my little boy now, I mean, he's only one, but even still, like, it's just a nice day out for him. My favourite memory of Southend United, strangely enough, wasn't actually in the ground. It was actually when we beat Sunderland at the end of the season. I had actually not gone to the game, we were having a drink, having a little chill out before the game finished. It was one all, and everyone's going, they're not going to score, they're not going to score. And I just, I just, I don't know why, but I just knew they would. And literally, as I thought it, I heard this almighty roar behind me um, coming from the ground, and it just sent like real goosebumps all over um, because I knew that watching the telly, that goal was about to come in. Um, and it did, and the atmosphere was absolutely incredible. Um, I think we partied long into the night that night. Crowd, of course, or a brilliant crowd. You're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for South End United. Once you're in a football club, what you want goes out the window. You're now doing it for six or seven thousand people. The lower the, the lower clubs are family clubs. The kids have grown up in it, they just want to see their own club do well. We will come again, this will this will blossom again, this club. <laughs>